one time a young man came and told me about Jesus Christ and I, and I picked up a box and shoved it in his face and, and cut his lip and told him I didn't want your Jesus and so and so I went home that night and I'll tell you what because what I did to that young man I looked up into the ceiling and I began to feel uh, now I know what it is now but it's, it was conviction I started feeling really bad for what I did my name is Mark Anthony Benavides I'm uh, from New Mexico Albuquerque New Mexico and and uh, it's been many years since I've been a Christian I got saved uh, 35 years ago uh, I come from a life of uh, violence my uh, my father many years ago when we were children he was a heroin addict and became an alcoholic and so my father basically uh, did work many jobs and kept away from the home my mother worked a lot of jobs and so many times uh, uh, we would take care of ourselves and we'd have all kinds of different babysitters and so um, my life was basically uh, a lot of party going on in my family and so uh, I got tired of I got tired of living actually and so I had ended up going to court one time and this is very short uh, what I'm talking about tonight because a lot of things happen in between but I ended up going to court for the last time and the, and the judge, his name is Judge O'Toole and he told me, he says I was, I was worthless and uh, I shouldn't even be around and so basically I took that as, as uh, for my life to, to get rid of it so I landed up in jail and so in the jail cell I made up my mind uh, that I was going to commit suicide just, just get my life over with, I was sick and tired of life I was always drunk and drugs and relationships in and out uh, you know, wrecking cars and, and doing all kinds of idiotic things. And so I said in my heart, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm gonna get rid of my life, I'm gonna commit suicide. I was trying to figure out how to do it when I was in jail. And uh, somebody told me and, uh, about, about Christ uh, a few months prior to that. And there were some Christians there that were talking to me and I didn't know anything about Christianity. I was religious, I was Catholic, and so I didn't think anything of it. And so uh, at the time, uh, these, these, these people told me about Christ. And one time a young man came and told me about Jesus Christ and I, and I picked up a box and shoved it in his face and, and cut his lip and told him I didn't want your Jesus. And so, and so I went home that night and I'll tell you what, because what I did to that young man, I looked up into the ceiling and I began to feel, uh, now I know what it is now, but it's, it was conviction. I started feeling really bad for what I did. And uh, as I was in jail, I, I, I began to start thinking about this man and was telling me about Jesus. He says, that's all you got to do is just ask, ask Christ to, to forgive your sins, to come into your life and he can change you. And so in that jail cell, I, I had a friend there also, his name is Franco. He used to carry a big black Bible. And in this big black Bible he carried, um, I went down, down to the population area where he was and Oh, a lot of my, whole, my old friends were still in jail also, and so, and so I asked him to borrow his Bible. So I took the Bible up into my jail cell, and I knelt down, and, and uh, you know, I didn't know how to pray, so I opened the book of Genesis in chapter 1 and began to read that, and I got so frustrated with, the, with, that, with the, the chapter 1 of Genesis, I couldn't understand it. So I stood up in that jail cell, and I began to curse God from the top of my lungs, and I says, God, what is this? And I, give me understanding, I don't know what's going on. And so, and so then I began to remember how that man told me, if I give my life to Jesus Christ, that he can change me. And so I says, okay, God, here I am. I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to do, God. And so if you can change me, take the drug addiction away from me, because, you know, I was always in AA and NA and Cope of New Mexico and all kinds of programs and try to get rid of drugs and alcohol. But I knelt down in that concrete bed and the concrete bed was about about two and a half feet high with a with about a, an inch and a half foam on it. That was the bed. And so I knelt down and I says, okay, God, if you can take the drug addiction away from me and, and this alcohol, and, and, I, and I was very violent, and I says, and take the violence away from me, I'll, I'll, I'll serve you the rest of my life. And at that very moment in that jail cell, something happened to me. Uh, I got, I, I felt, I felt a freedom and a release. I felt like floating, actually, in that jail cell, and it was such a, such an experience in my life. I never, never understood it until now, as I got older in Christ. And what happened was, is that God came into my life and came into my heart, and He began to change me. And I was supposed to spend some more time in, in jail there for, for quite a while, but, but for some reason, I got out of jail in seven days. And so, and so I landed up going to a, to a, uh, another jail, and it wasn't a, a full jail, it was a, uh, it was a release program, and so I used to have to go there at night and, 
and uh, sleep there while I, in the daytime I went out to work. But they were having church inside that jail cell at night and on Sunday night. And so they called for anyone who wanted to go to church. And I says, yeah, I'll go to church, you know. And so I, I went to that church and started listening to them preach. And, and so as I heard them preach, something began to happen inside of me. And so finally, when I finally got out of jail completely, God put me, he reminded me, you remember you told me that you'll, you'll, you'll serve me the rest of your life. And so, and so what happened was, make a long story short, I started working for a guy that, uh, that, was, that, that my father was renting his restaurant for. And my father, I don't know if my father knew this or not, but he was, he was a mafia guy. And so I was working for him as a landlord. And as a landlord, I'll tell you, man, uh, uh, I, I started, I started uh, going, knocking on doors and saying, I, you owe me the rent now. Because I went to another church before that, but I didn't see Christ there. But then next door neighbor was a pastor from this fellowship, and his name was Mel Montoya. And so uh, uh, I knocked on his door and said, you're going to pay me the rent now. And so basically he says, okay, no problem. And so one day I, I locked my keys in, in the house. And so I went next door, knocked on the pastor's door. I said, can I borrow one of your kids to get into my window? I locked the keys in, 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 in my house. And so he's laughing. And so he sends me his small son. And so I put him to the window. And he told me later on that he says, when he looked at me, he says, that's my, that's my, first, my first usher right there. And so basically I became his first usher. I got saved. God began to do a work upon my life and, and change my whole entire life. And my whole entire outlook of life was, was, was amazing. Uh, there was times when I went outside and I looked at a flower and I, I stayed sitting in front of a flower looking at that flower for many, many minutes and I, I'm amazed at the creation of God. Got sand and began to put sand in my hand and it was like uh, everything changed my whole entire life. And so from that point on, God began to do a work upon my life. I went to church. I got involved in, in, the, in the work of God and I was in church. Every time those doors were open, I went there to hear the Word of God. And as soon as I began to start doing that, God began to chip away all the hardness of my life. And I used to be a, a, a lowrider, and we called ourselves pachucos, which are basically gangs. And we didn't have gang na names, but we were gangs in the street, and that's what we used to do is fight. And so I still dress the same way, I look the same way, talk the same way. But eventually, as God began to do a work upon my life, he began to chip out, chip away the, the exterior and began to change me. In the church, God gave me a, gave me a beautiful wife. Um, um, she, she came and got saved and, and uh, to make a long story short, we got married and we were married for 30 years. And so she really did a, uh, God really did a work upon her life also. And so God has taken me since I've been been a Christian for 35 years. I've uh, been a pastor of three churches, a missionary. I'm, now I'm an evangelist preaching all over the world. Now, now, I would not even think about that, preaching all over the world, or even doing anything what I'm doing right now, unless Christ had been inside of me. And He did a whole entire change in upon my life. And I'll tell you, if you're listening to this video, and you're watching this video, Christ is the only way. A religion is not going to help you. A drugs are not going to help you. Nothing's going to help you. But I understand something. As I came on out to Jesus, He changed my whole entire life completely. He changed my heart inside. In other words, He put a brand new heart inside of me. And as He put a brand new heart inside of me, He also put His nature inside of me, which is the nature of Christ. And Christ changed me completely. I want to tell you that, that any man, Paul says, the Apostle Paul says, in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away, and behold, the new things have come. And so I, I understand that very clearly because the old Mark the old Mark, my, my, my nickname was actually Chico in the streets. That was my, my street name. And Chico began to leave. Christ began to grow. That's when he gave me a brand new heart. And anyone who comes to Christ, I'll tell you what, he by no way casts away. He accepts everyone who comes to him. And he, and he changes your life. And I'll tell you what, he gives you a brand new outlook in life. And your life can change. Once you give a life to Jesus Christ, things can completely change. And I wish I had more time to tell you all the stories that I've been through, but, but I want to tell you something right now is that as preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the whole world, I am seeing literally thousands of men and women and young people give the life to Jesus Christ, living for God. And I want to tell you something, God can do a work upon any life if you give Him the opportunity to do that. 
because God is the only way. Jesus says, I'm the truth, the way, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at the scripture right now as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm speaking to you. It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. It says, but seek first the kingdom of God in all his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. And God will take care of you, and he'll give you a brand new life. If you give him that opportunity, he's the only way. God bless you.